What's up, you guys? Welcome to Integration B Training for Advanced. In this section, we'll be learning inversion dealing with arc tangents. So, in this case, we'll have integrals with arc tangents when we let u equal 1 over x. We are pretty much having some function with inverse tangent x. And then with the substitution, we'll get inverse tangent of 1 over x, right? You already know where this goes. You know, if we add two of this, you know, add these two integrals together or some functions, we end up pi over 2 with some other function. So that's pretty much, that's, that's technically all we're just going to be doing. Oh god, again, it's just to help you uh, get more comfortable with inversions, okay? So here's a great example. So here, we'll go ahead, let's see, I noticed that we have 0 to infinity, and we have an inverse tangent of x, which we can take advantage of. So let u, 1 over x, then we get from 0 to infinity, inverse tangent of 1 over x, right? But then we have 1 over x here, square root of 1 over x. And then here dx, we get x squared. Okay, but how do we handle this denominator here? Well, this x, well, one of the x's is pretty much going to become x plus 1. So let me go ahead, just put that here. We're going to have 1 plus x, or x plus 1. And then here, 1 over x times x, this becomes, this becomes x squared times 1 over x, which equals the square root of x. And so here, we just have square root of x. And look, it's the same denominator. Now we can go ahead and just add it together. And now this is just an easy integral. So this is pi over 4. And then, of course, we know how what this is. This is 2 inverse tangent of root x. 0 to infinity, right? And then plug in 0, it's 0, plug in infinity, you get pi over 2. Uh, well, this gets cancelled out. So our integral, the answer for this integral is pi square over 4. Okay, we have this very cool looking integral here. So this one's from Cambridge University. And it's a very satisfying integral. It's the same concept. Let u equal 1 for x. Then we have inverse tangent of 1 over x. And then of course here, you know, this is 1 over x, but our x square is going to neutralize it. And then ln square of 1 over x gives us negative ln of x, but because it's being squared, it makes no difference. It makes no difference, right? Now, we can easily add these two up. And this gives us pi over 2. And again, it's pi over 2 because it's 0 to infinity. Okay, it's so from 0 to infinity, it's positive. And now, we have x ln square plus 1. Super easy integral to deal with, right? This is equal to pi over 4. Technically, let u equal ln of x, right? Let's see, ln of 0, it's negative infinity. Uh, ln of infinity is infinity. And now we have du, uh, u squared plus 1, which in this case, this gives us pi. So our answer is also pi squared over 4. Look how fast that was. That was actually... Uh, not as bad. It's actually quite simple. Just 1 over x and then 
uh, take advantage of the arc tangent identity, and then solve the easy uh, integral. And that's it, very quickly. Uh, in fact, if you get comfortable enough, you can end up uh, solving integrals like this uh, mentally. Okay. Inverse tangent of x over x. And we have half from half to 2. Huh, it's a little suspicious that we have like 1 over a to a as our bound. Very suspicious. I think I know what to do. So let u equal 1 over x. Then, of course, this doesn't change, right? Inverse tangent, 1 over x. Then here, we'll get 1 over x, but it's going to be multiplied by x squared, which will neutralize it. And now, adding these two integrals together, we end up with pi over 2 over x. So this is just pi over 4 ln of x from 1 half to 2. 2 minus uh, ln of half, that's ln of 4, e, I believe. Yeah, ln of 4. And this, you know, by log rule, this simplifies to pi over 2 ln of 2. Okay? Very, very quick, very fast. Just like the previous one. x squared minus x plus 1 as a denominator. This is getting a little intimidating, but don't freak out. Again, what do we do? Well, because there's 0 to infinity and we have an inverse tangent, let's test u equals 1 over x. You might think, oh, start with c. Not yet. Don't rush into that yet. Test 1 first. And if that doesn't work, then you let it be c over x and try to find a constant. Because in that case, you're, you're forcing it to uh, be the same denominator. But in this case, we haven't tried that, so we're not going to jump to conclusions. We're not going to jump the gun. We're going to test, test small. Okay. So in that case, we have 0 to infinity, inverse tangent, 1 over x. And then we get uh, pre well technically we actually do get the same denominator. All right, if you just test it in your head. Uh, if you can't do that, then definitely go ahead and draw it all out, right? Put it at the side, uh, you know, one over x squared minus x. I'm sorry, uh, minus one over x plus one, and then x squared, and then do that at the side and then write it all out. But thankfully here, it's the same denominator, so we can just easily add it together. And we get pi over 2. We can complete the square here, right? This gives us x minus a half, uh, 3 fourth. OK? And then we already know where this is going, right? pi over 4, this is 2 over root 3, inverse tangent, 2x minus 1 over root 3. Like, we, we've done this integral so many times. 0 to infinity. Okay. Uh, I'm going to simplify this part here. And then... We have, let's see, plug in infinity, it's pi over 2. Plug in 0, it's actually plus pi over 6. And so what we have all together is we end up pi square. Uh, this becomes, let's see, uh, 6 plus 2, 12, 8. Two thirds. So in that case, the two cancels out and we get three root three. And that is our answer. Okay, so that is our last integral. Uh, 
as you can see, it's actually quite easy, quite nice, and very fast to do. Uh, as long as you're very comfortable with it, of course. So, uh, yeah, very important uh, to get comfortable with inversion. All right? Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next part.